Hi guys, I'm here in the conservatory um, and I want to share with you a few projects that I'm gonna work on today that will include kalankoi plants. Unlike other succulents, kalankoi plants um, tend to be more thirsty. I think that they like more water and they're very good communicators, meaning that they will let you know when they're thirsty. If you can see here close up on this one, uh, oh Morris. <laughs> There is dry leaves on the bottom and it is pretty dry soil. So they're very good communicating to you when they need more water. They also like to have, I would say, drink a bit more often than some other succulents. So you can water them more often and give, give them a little more water. Something else you should know about these plants is that they're fast growers. So you may need to reset them, what I'm gonna do today, uh, at least once a year. They're winter growers, so in summertime they, they may look a little wilty. Um, but my plan today is to do something about these two pots, actually three pots, because there's another one here that I'm gonna work on. Um, look how leggy it looks. Look at all these roots. Not good looking, so I wanna fix that. Um, and I'm gonna take cuttings even though it's February, um, in the areas where these two plants are, it's pretty warm. They're not right here. They're closer to heaters, and I think they're going to be fine. They had beautiful blooms. I didn't have a chance to show. These are dried out blooms, guys, but they were like orangish color, kind of like this. You can see it much stronger orange all the way. So they had some really interesting blooms. This one here that I'm going to work on. I actually like bonsai look with this panda kalanhoi plant, but not like this. This is a mess. Uh, I think the, the pot is too small, so it, it keeps coming out of the pot because it's root bound. Then there's all these aerial roots, and the shape is not nice, so it definitely, aesthetically, I don't like how it looks. Since it has been donated to conservatory, this hasn't been worked with, so it's time to make it look nicer. Um, if you noticed in my collection at home, I don't have many Kalahoi plants. I decided not to collect these plants. I only have two, this one and one more. Um, I don't know why. I think that they're a lot of fun. They have so much color, um, but I do have a lot of succulents, so they're just not giving me as much joy as some other ones. So, guys, I have two pots prepared here. Let's start with this one here. Um, so I'm gonna move this one a little bit so you can see close up and actually I'm gonna use this pot. And I'm gonna take cuttings and I'm gonna also clean the debris, these dried up leaves that will come off anyway on its own. Uh, I'm not gonna use rooting hormone because Kalankoi plants, in my experience, root very easily. And in addition to that, they're getting, I'm placing them in the dry soil, so I'm not too worried about it. I am cutting about, what, inch and a half below the rosette. So I'm leaving about an inch and a half of stem. I think actually this one I could cut even more. <laughs> but I think it's gonna be all right. This one has a nice little white root. Look at that, guys. So hopefully when I place it in the soil, it's gonna easily root. And I have one more little one here. So this doesn't look good at all. I really don't want to save this. We have another pot with this plant. I suppose you could save some of these little ones and try to see what you're going to do with it, but I'm not. So this is going to go to garbage. They can propagate from leaves. 
I had in the past leaving some leaves and the new rosette that started growing, but that would be more slower process, but I will leave one of the leaves there. So here it is, guys. So much better. All right, well now let's take care of this one. This one I got end of summer for the conservatory on clearance. It was really good price. And um, you can see it has got so laggy since. That's one thing that I don't like about Kalanhoi plants because they're such a fast grower. They, they so fast change the appearance. And sometimes I just like to enjoy plants the way they look for a period of time. And these change pretty fast, at least for me. They have changed, they grow fast. Look how pretty these leaves are with those reddish edges. Who knows, maybe I'll get it again this year. I don't know, maybe during the summertime. I'm gonna cut this aerial root. So this one, this one seems to be growing a double branch here, guys. You can see where it bloomed. So I might not throw away this plant, actually. I may just put it in a plant room where it's not gonna be displayed because I don't like how it looks at the moment. I'm gonna trim it down a little bit. Oh, look at this one here close up. There is three branches growing where it bloomed. So there is one here and two more here. So I'm gonna definitely leave that. And another few branches growing in here. Okay, and look at this, guys. This is so cute. This is from a leaf. A little rosette growing. This propagate itself. So there is a few tiny little plants. This one actually rooted in soil. So I'm gonna place that one in here. I think you always try to put the bigger ones in the center and a little bit smaller ones around. Okay, so let's see if I'm gonna add anything else. few little rosettes. Well, I'm not going to move them now. This one I'm just going to place in the plant room and hopefully we can get a little bit more from this plant. And this is going to go where this one was placed previously on one of the shelves. All right, so that's better. Just have to clean up a little bit here. So I have a tag. All right, so let's now deal with this one. Uh, this has been a tower entrance in the conservatory, and um, this uh, Dracaena uh, looks nice. It's just like this messy, leggy look of Kalakoi plants around. I really don't like. I think it needs to be cleaned up. So I think I'm gonna have another pot of these. We have plenty of them. I'm really, it's not a problem if I throw away a lot of them. So, I may not save the ones that I don't like. I don't like this one because it's pale green. It has some pests. I'm just gonna throw it away. Some of the best looking rosettes, like this one is not too bad. I'm gonna save and root. But most, I think I'm gonna throw away. And then hopefully I'm going to be able to clean Rosina. Okay. I don't know. This is uh, is this Mother Vermilion's 
or mother or something. Definitely, there is millions of them in this conservatory, so we never let those. And because they drop, you know, on the leaf, on, on the leaves, they grow these little new rosettes. You can have just from one of these, like many dozens of little new rosettes. And when they drop them anywhere in different parts, they just root so easily. But you see, this one has some damages, so that's why I'm gonna save it. So I might be able to pull some of these from the ground, which is gonna be nice. Look at how many of them there are. Well, this, this side already looks better, in my opinion. Look at that, guys. Less messy. Okay, let's see what we have here. This was not too bad. Neither this one, so I'm going to save those, but then rest here, I'm just going to pull up. So that looks so much better, guys. Now you can see this plant. Looks really well. Um, I think it might need a different pot. I just actually don't even like this pot too much. You can find it something nicer for the entrance. And I need uh, one little pot for this. these cuttings, columboid cuttings. So I'm going to go get that. And then we're gonna work on one more project that's gonna be a little bit bigger. All right guys, so I found a pot and I found a tag. It's Mother of Thousands. Um, that's how it's called. And this is how it implants itself anywhere. Look at this, this guy. It's not even visible anymore from all these. So since I'm already repotting these cuttings, I'm gonna pull this whole foot out if I can and place it in this pot or to the trash, one or the other. Well, since you're not coming out easily, I'm gonna chop you. Yep. That's what happens when you don't wanna let go. You get chopped. <laughs> I know they're gonna come back in this part, there's still little ones, but at least it's gonna clean, be cleaned up for now. Alright, so I'm gonna place these bigger ones in the middle. I'm gonna add a few more smaller cuttings. Oh, here is Morris. He's always around when I'm working here. I think this is enough for this pot. Like I said, we have them all around, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw away the rest. There's the little babies here. Look at them guys. Look at all these that fell off from the from the leaves. A little rosette. Alright, so this one can go back to the top as well as this one. Alright. Hmm. 
This desk currently needs to be cleaned, which is going to be another big project, so don't mind the mess around it. All right, so something else that I want to do today is going to be inside of the desert dome. So let me show you what I have in mind. So guys, this area here, I really don't like. It's not defined, it looks, there is weeds and it's kind of overgrown. Um, I also don't like that these are popping up everywhere. These grow very fast, Agave Funkiana's fetal attraction, and they're very pokey. We simply, to regulate this area, we have to throw them away. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of these out. But I also wanted to show you close up here. Uh, so this area, Alyssa and I, I think a few years ago, formed where we had like a um, beautiful line of aloeberry foliage. But there is a lot of weeds in between. I don't like that. I don't like completely the position of these rocks. And I do not like the cacti here, how it looks very randomly laying, like somebody just threw it away. So I want to reset it. This area here, when I made from almost scratch, I uh, just took cuttings of that same cactus and I placed it in the middle and look at how much it grew. But it looks good, it looks healthy. So sometimes you have to do that or otherwise, you know, your garden and your plants will not look good. You have to sometimes cut and throw away some things. So, let me start by pulling out this one, these two here. They're little enough to possibly be sold because people don't want to buy any of the agaves when they're big. So I'm gonna place these here and take them to the plant room. These are super bulky. Then I'm going to just take cuttings of these and I'm just going to throw away the rest. Well this one here, let's see. Yeah, it's going to look like I'm butchering here. But <clears throat> These are also very bulky. So this is gonna be one of the cuttings that I'm gonna use. Look guys, this is Fred Ives. I brought my Fred Ives here, and there it is, over here. And I think one of the leaves propagated itself in between the rocks. It's so adorable. I just love Fred Ives, one of my favorite. All right, so this one here, I'm gonna try to cut here. I have feeling this one has rooted already. Maybe not. If not, then I'm gonna have to cut it some more. I'm gonna throw away this. I'm gonna cut this one over here. Let's try it here. <laughs> okay. So pulling this out. So I'm gonna have to be careful not to cut this. Fred Ives. So I still have that 
root here. That's right where the fret eyes is. And it's pulpy. I'm gonna grab another tool. So I think I can pull it out. There it is. So Fred Ives is still alive. <laughs> She's been disturbed a bit. So I don't know. I'm gonna put it just temporarily here until I decide decide how to place it. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning of this debris. Here is these mother of thousands combined with weeds. Just a tiny little weed, so it's just a lot of repetitive work. It's right here, there is some cuttings that have a little bit of debris that I don't like. But they did root. So we're just going to clean them up. And then place them back. out except pull the aloes completely out which maybe I'm gonna do one day okay. well that is better I would like to place a few cuttings cactus cuttings right here in the middle um, I'm just trying to decide if I should cut this one more and just have them highest like this. Oh, and how am I gonna? I may temporarily place these stones this way just so I can root these cacti, and then later on I can move them around. So, let's see, this one here. And then I have already poked myself quite well a few times. I'm going to cut this one here because I don't want to keep it all. So this piece is going to go into garbage. I'm going to place. I 
need some little rock. I'm just gonna temporarily place it here. So it can lean on it. I'm gonna also cut this one. Place this in the garbage as well. This looks a little bit better. I think this one I'm gonna use in the other area. I just don't wanna have too many of them. So I'm gonna place it here temporarily. So over here in the continuation of this area, there is a lot of aloes. Um, it's a jungle again, by the way. I probably need to clean them up. But I do like some of these things that I temporarily potted in here. So these <clears throat> pink moonstones, I'm gonna move from here. They're doing actually okay. These were cuttings. Um, and I also, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe I need to move this crassola. This is crassola campfire. But for now, I'll just leave it there. And I'm gonna here place back this Fred eyes that I have disturbed. Just gonna there. Hopefully it's gonna be alright. And then I'm gonna these are also funkianas. These are gavis. I'm gonna pull them out because I don't want them here. And then I'm gonna pull some of these weeds out. And there is another mother of thousands, so I'll pull that out. And some weeds. Miss some of the weeds here. All right, that is much better. And I'm not worried about these guys at all. They root very easily, so they're gonna be fine. So here is one more look to before and after. As I'm finishing my project, I just noticed, guys, well, look at Morris sleeping peacefully in the middle of the desert dome, surrounded by pokey agaves. He's a true desert kid. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I will see you soon in the next video.